Hi, this is Lanise Powell, and this is my Rails project for, um, for tutoring notes. So pretty much how my application, my application was built so that you can be able to um, take a course um, or create a course, um, share it with people, and um, have them be able to um, have them be able to complete your assignments as well as create and add assignments to um, to your course. So with this, we have a login page, or if, if you already signed in, you can go to the login page. If you didn't, you can go to sign up, which we have our sign up page, which is here. You can also sign up from GitHub as well. Or, um, and if you want to go back, you have two options you can use down here, or the navigation bar to log in. Um, so we can log in as tester5 at tester.com and we can log into the site. Um, this is because I'm using a common email um, and password tester. So I researched that and as I was said, I said, at first I thought that's English wrong, but no. Um, so now we have I went and um, interpolated the name of the user so it can be personalized. And it's like, welcome tester five and tutoring courses where you're able to create your own assignments and courses to share with other tutoring um, course users. Um, please select an option below to get started, which means that if they didn't know what to do, at least they know they can either create a course or they can search our existing courses. So before we go to create a course, I just wanted to show you, you can search what we have so far. So, so far we have like our courses, which is new course, which you can, you can enroll in. Um, they have test number two, equations, testing, testing, walkthrough, my daughter made a TikTok, one, two, three, enroll um, that, and my son made a stuff, right? So, and you're able to enroll in any of those um, courses. You're also, I think that this person made maybe this one, no. So if he was, if, if Tester 5 created this course, he would have also the option to where he would be able to um, go and add a new assignment to his course. Because I do have um, parameters to where only the user who created the course will be able to add more um, information to the course. So since it's not here, we're going to go back to the search course and just see. Is it in walkthrough? No, I think that's the same one I just went through. Is it in equations no I thought he made something oh there we go so now here we go so he made the first one which is tester five and it says welcome back would you like to create a new assignment for this course and then that tester has the option to add an assignment so now he also has the option to go and create a new course so let's say we don't want to go do that we can create a course right and we can make the course name um whales assessment And description walkthrough. And you're able to create it. Um, my logic here was for them, if you're going to create a course, I would like for you to at least have one assignment in the course so people aren't going into empty courses like that. It doesn't make any sense. So the assignment for this would be testing for Rails. would be this is a test and we have, can have like one two and three and they can scroll down to be able to create that assignment and now you see that uh, now we went and created the assignment and we can see it it's in here welcome back welcome to the assignment index is assignment for that um for that course and it says, would you like to create a new assignment? And then I'm thinking back, instead of welcome to assignment index, I should, guess I should have um, interpolated for that specific course so I can have the name of it. That would make more sense, but um, I didn't do that yet. I can always work on that. Um, and then we can see the course, see? Then you have the, the, the questions that we have, which aren't actually questions, it's one, two, and three. And then they can complete the assignment. So you can go in and you complete it. And now we have answers for them to be able to answer. So I'll be two, three, and four. And now they submitted their assignment. So if we were going to go back to that course, you would see 
that, hmm, it's supposed to say that they, oh, it's not there. I'm in the wrong, wrong assignment. I'm like, that's not what it's supposed to say. Um, if we go back to Rails assessment, you can see that it does have a, a notification that you have also submitted that assignment, that at least so that as your user, if you are the user of it, you can say, okay, I did that one already. So if there was multiple assignments within here, we don't have to go and just submit it again because you don't know what you're doing. Um, so then we can also view the assignment that you submitted, which Looking back, I should have done um, a center, which I'll work on, um, and centered it. But it, it says like number one, and then it has like your response is two, response is three, response is four. And so that's, that's pretty cool. And let me see. Hmm. I feel like something is a little bit different than what it should be, but um, I'll definitely work back on that to go and um, see if, I feel like if this was at one point in a container that I don't see right now. So um, I'll have to look back through my code to be able to make sure that's right. So we were able to create a course, search a course, you're able to go back to the home, look, view your courses, um, submit your assignments, do your submitted assignment for that individual user. Um, one feature that I do want to have is my courses, which is not the way built out yet, which is supposed to be so that they can be able to um, view all the courses that they have enrolled in. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And then they can log out. Thank you for, um, for doing my Rails assessment and hopefully you like it.